Hey, what's up you guys? Craft Farms here. Welcome back to another video. So, we are here on the farm that I grew up on. We are here in Forest River, North Dakota. Uh, we actually just moved back home. Um, we were off in Kentucky and things just didn't work out uh, the way that I had hoped and uh, the job just didn't work and uh, had an opportunity come up to come back home uh, grandpa sold off last year and we've had quite a process trying to get set back up to try and be successful so we're here uh, this was mom and dad's house they moved off the farm two years ago and uh, we now took over the house it needs some work but it'll work and then uh, grandpa and grandma are still living over there uh, still on the farm so um, it was definitely quite expensive to get here uh, it took us a large million dollar loan um, to afford the farm the land and the machinery um, we had to pretty much start from scratch aside from the home yard and the land. Um, all the equipment we had to source, um, so we'll get into that. Um, so, to start off with, we got our first gen Dodge uh, Dually Cummins. We got the Phil Wright tank in the back. Uh, this is kind of our only way of getting um, fuel around to anything right now uh, until we can uh, start turning a profit. Uh, this is Grandpa's 445 John Deere lawnmower. I uh, got it parked over here because we're going to mow here at some point. Um, we'll walk into the yard here. So, um, <clears throat> we got our heated shop here, our Quonset. We only have three grain bins. That's all Grandpa got by with. So, we're going to make do with those. Uh, this is actually the only original building left on the farm here. Uh, this old tin shed. Uh, Grandpa had built the Quonset um, a few years ago. And then uh, the heated shop was the year after that. Uh, so we found a ABI nurse trailer here uh, so we can run chemical to our sprayer there. And then we got the Kill Bros uh, gravity wagon with auger. So we'll be using that for our drill, our planter, and our fertilizer spreader. Uh, this is the Shepherd Sprayer. Um, it is just a three-point mount sprayer. And then uh, we got the 40-foot Land Roller. I uh, see I got to spray some weeds here in the grass. Um, and then we got a Case International 950 Cyclo. Um, this is... Three, six. This is just a 12 row. It's bigger than I thought, actually. Um, and then we've got the John Deere. Uh, I think this is a 1590. Sorry, 750 uh, box drill. And then the Wilmar Super 600 spreader. The KT... I I don't know what that is. KTA maybe. Uh, cultivator. 
<sighs> Excuse me. And then we got the John Deere chisel plow. Uh, over here, we got the PJ 40 foot flatbed trailer. Uh, kind of the newest thing around the farm, really. Um, and then we'll pop open this shed. I gotta make sure super strength is off. So in here we have a Case 2870 Traction King. This is going to be our uh, cultivating and plowing tractor. Uh, we found a International 1086 in really good shape. Uh, this will be kind of whatever. Uh, sp mainly for sure spraying. Uh, we'll see if it spreads or anything like that. We'll see. Um, and then we got the John Deere 4850 front wheel assist with duals. Got a heck of a deal on this. Couldn't pass it up. And, I mean, how could we not have a 4000 series John Deere? Uh, we got two international uh, grain trucks. Um, we got them as a package deal. Uh, old timer that was selling off. All of this equipment really uh, came from uh, an auction a little north of here, uh, about 10 miles north. Uh, was an old timer, kind of like my grandpa, was selling everything off. And uh, they're really the people there buying, uh, they bought some of his bigger and newer machinery and they wanted the land uh, so we were able to get a lot of this equipment pretty cheap uh, which is very helpful uh, we have a New Holland TR 76 and then we got the 8 row corn head and the I believe 20 foot uh, grain head let's see here uh, yep 20 foot uh, grain head uh, and both of them are on easy trail uh, 680 header trailers and then we got the Parker gravity wagon along with the DMI big little uh, gravity wagon and then uh, we'll take a look in our heated shop here oh I uh, can't forget we got our Hutchinson uh, auger right here. Uh, we were able to pick that up as well. So that was really nice. I'm going to spray weeds around this building too yet. That'll be tomorrow's project. Um, in here... Oh, and we got some grass coming in. i got to fix that as well. Um, in here we have our Motorex oil barrels. I am running the Motorex uh, oil add-on on this save game um, and then in here we got our John Deere 675 skid steer our Amerifab snow bucket our pallet forks and our uh, attachment for moving trailers around with the skid steer uh, which is very handy it made it very nice and very easy to uh, put like our gravity wagon over in that shed the gravity wagons and header trailers in that building it made that super nice super easy um, and then we'll take a look at our land here that we're running so obviously we got the home field field 41 um, and then we bought 40 28 39 60 and 59 um, we're going to be kind of sticking with wheat, uh, oats, soybeans, corn, those crops. Um, eventually down the road when we are able to expand our farm and grow, I would like to get into sugar beets as well, but that's down the road. We got to focus on, uh, turning a profit and making this farm into something again. Uh, Grandpa just, he couldn't do it anymore, and uh, he just wasn't getting by, and ended up 
having to sell all the machinery, um, all of the fields that we own were grandpa's fields, but they were all being rented out. And uh, so we ended up having to kind of not quite fully buy them back, but we had to make a heck of a deal with the uh, land, the renter that uh, was renting everything. So, um, yeah, that's kind of uh, what uh, we got going on here. Um, we're coming up here on spring. Uh, we should be able to get out into the fields hopefully soon. Um, we are going to start off the spring. Uh, we got a lot of ground work to be done. Uh, the renter that Grandpa had, he was not all that great about keeping up on the pH and nitrogen in the ground. So we got our work cut out for us with that. Um, it's it's going to be a heck of a ride. Um, I do have to go sit down with the banker in the morning. Um... We're going to be, we're, essentially we're going to have two different loans. Um, we have our million dollar loan for 10 years. Uh, that's the real big kicker. Um, but it's what we needed to buy everything, uh, essentially. But it did not leave us with much money. And we have to be able to afford our seed, our fertilizer, our chemical, fuel, we got to make it for a year. Um, and we can't do that if we're broke. So, um, I had talked to the banker and we had been pre-approved for $250,000 operating loan for a $250,000 operating loan the only downside is we can only get it for two years. Uh, we have two years to pay that 250000 back, which, if the farm works out good and uh, we can actually get somewhere with it, we should hopefully, in theory, be able to pay that back no problems. Um, but... Time will tell. So, but uh, it's getting late, and uh, I'm gonna head off to bed. And uh, when we, when I get done at the bank in the morning, um, I will pick you guys up, and. Uh, We'll start making some work happen around here. Um, hopefully we can make this work. So, thanks everybody um, for joining back. Uh, I know it's been a while since we were in Kentucky. But it's been a long road to make all of this happen. And... Uh, sorting things out back in Kentucky. We pretty much lost everything uh, that we had in Kentucky. Um, it's been a long road. So I'm hoping we can uh, make this work and uh, actually run our own operation. It's going to be tough for now. I mean, beans that were so small, the co-op doesn't want to they don't not that they don't want to the co-op doesn't have time to deliver product to us so we're going to have to get our own products from the co-op uh, we can't afford to pay anyone to come help us so we're kind of on our own uh, I mean yeah grandpa's here and grandma but I mean, Grandpa can't really farm anymore. 
he's just it he, he's he's too far up there in age uh, he just doesn't have it in him uh, but I mean he did say that if we're ever in need of help you know moving equipment uh, he's always available to help us um, you know jump in the pickup follow us around so there is that but for sure for this first year uh, we're kind of on our own and uh, it's nerve-wracking it's gonna be a long road but we're gonna make it work and we're gonna do the best that we can and uh, we're gonna give it all we got so I'm gonna end it here folks um, thanks for tuning in today and uh, We'll catch you all tomorrow when I get done uh, at the bank.